Uh, hey guys, it's Sam J. Uh, you may have seen me at the Las Vegas YCS 3v3 uh, feature match on round four, uh, playing Ren Despia. Um, so just here today with to give you a quick deck profile with uh, Inspired TCG. Um, I played 60 card branded. Uh, my team finished 26th place with uh, X1-2 record overall. So uh, yeah. Uh, before we begin, just want to give a quick shout out to uh, GVYC, all the boys of the Greenview Yu-Gi-Oh Club, and uh, especially shout out to Giovanni because it was his birthday that weekend. Um, but yeah, with that said, uh, just, let's get into the deck profile. Um, so I played uh, 60 card branded, uh, 3 Luber, 3 opening, and then 3 branded fusion. Uh, these cards were all really solid. Um, yeah, I mean, just gotta play these. Uh, yeah, Branded Opening is really, really good this format because, uh, you know, it protects from destruction and so you really, really, like, need this. Um, I also played three Shroud to, like, dump it in the graveyard. So if, if you just have this, it just insulates you so much, uh, if, whether you're going first or going second. And, um, and a lot of times you don't want to use it on, like, the first thing that they pop. Like, you, you can just let your Mirror Jade get popped because um, they'll blow up their whole board in the end phase. You can just make a second Mirror Jade, so. I uh, just don't want to use the use the protection effect. Um, I'm gonna play three Albaz, uh, standard. Gotta play three. Uh, play three Fusion Deployment alongside that three Cartesia. Uh, I think you're definitely supposed to play card three Cartesia, even if you're not playing sixty cards. Like this is just the, your best way of playing around hand traps. Um, like it's your best extender. Like it, it does everything. So you got got gotta play three, even if you're playing six. Um, like like a smaller deck count that's not sixty. Um, also, another card I think you should play at 3 is uh, 3 Shroud Dragon. This card is just like, broken, it's Upstar Goblin, Foolish Burial, come on in a 1, it dumps Albaz in your graveyard, um, like, it, it turns your Cartesia live, um, it just makes Brandon white live, it, it makes Brandon in red live, like, this card is just broken, so, play 3 copies. Um, and, and that goes for even if you're not playing 60 cards, like, you just wanna, like, like, max out on, like, Cartesias and, like, shrouds because they're like your best engine pieces that that aren't branded fusion right it, like a lot of a lot of your engine pieces are just extra copies of random fusion but like these are not like these do other things so yeah definitely play three copies of them uh i played two quem uh you don't need to play two quem but having the second one is nice sometimes in the grind game um it gives your deck a little bit more inevitability uh also like you can just side out the second one um going first or going second you can just side out the second so yeah, pretty solid. If you're not playing 60, you don't need the second one. And also, if you're playing, like, Maximus, you don't need the second one. Uh, but other than that, like, you know, pretty solid. Um, two Tragedy, one Adlib. Uh, I'm playing a Lurf, so I'm playing and, and 60, so I'm playing, like, the two Tragedy. Otherwise, like, you wouldn't. Um, uh, Adlib is pretty solid. Usually, you only play either this or Gimmick Puppet. I'm playing both because, you know, 60 cards. But uh, otherwise, like, you just need, like, the one Tragedy, and, and that's good enough but uh, these are solid. Uh, one more carrier. Uh, I hard drew this two times and, and it won me, like, <laughs> it, it won me the game every single time I hard drew it. Like, it was, like, the thing that mattered the most. So, uh, yeah, I, I still wouldn't play more than one copy of it, but, you know, just cool. Cool card. Uh, one Lebelion, one Sarnia. Yeah, just, you gotta play them for the combo. Uh, this is cool because it's, like, a second thing that chain blocks your Lebelion fusion effect. Um, that's not... Tra tragedy sometimes you like banish tragedy or use it for foolish burial use it for something else so you need something else to chain block the apple or bada so the Sar sarnia is good um and for that reason also like you're not actually supposed to side it out going second um into into fire decks because uh for the chain blocking ability you you can't always chain block with tragedy because you sometimes you have to use tragedy on something else so yeah and one copy of Gimmick Puppet. Uh, this card's broken. Uh, you need like a justification to play a rogue deck if you're not playing the best deck of the format. So Gimmick Puppet is what it, is, it, is the justification to play this rogue deck. Um, you don't set it out even going second because you just like break their board with Mirror Jade. Like Mirror Jade crash in their board and wipe everything and then set up a puppet lock on their turn. So like like oftentimes you, you still resolve puppet going second. It's really strong. Um, then one Brandon lost. Uh, this card is just broken. It just doesn't matter if your opponent's cards are better if, if they can't respond to anything you do. So, um, and then I played one Brandon in white with uh, two Brandon in red. This is originally three Brandon in red, um, but I made the third Brandon in white. This card is really broken because uh, it because if you're playing three Shroud, like you dumping Albaz just immediately turns this on, um, and and that plays through hand traps really really well. It pushes through stuff really well. 
um and like sometimes this is more valuable than brand fusion in the grind game because it plays around ash like if, if you could just get this with alibur or get this with like some alternative method um like you know add back with retribution or whatever um it, it it just plays around ash really well so um and it's occasionally more valuable than brand fusion because you have a bunch of stuff in your graveyard that you want to get out of your graveyard so um yeah really really solid and then the two uh brandon red it does come up like sometimes you you use the first one on your turn like either you get it with alibur or like dump and then add back with retribution or dump set uh set with um like tragedy so like i don't know and, and in grind games the second one comes up a lot like yeah so i, I like playing two um and then one retribution uh for other cards i played one and one yeah if you if you see them then it's good i didn't play star because that card's bad uh, and I played three allure, uh, playing 60 cards, so I just wanted more ways to draw. Uh, Droll never mattered, and a lot of people are cutting Droll from their decks. Uh, and that's what I thought they were going to do, like, going into Vegas. So, yeah, I was right, because I, like, never got Drolled, and when I did get Drolled, it, it never mattered. So, you, like, like you can just play in a Droll with this deck. It, it, it never matters. Um, and I played the Patchwork Engine, 2-2-2. Two, two, two. Um, this was pretty... This is pretty sick. <laughs> like you just draw Patrick going second, and you know you have the untargetable Chimera. And if you have the untarg untargetable Chimera, they're they're only out to like Grunix boosted attack over or like Zelantis. And so like if they're pigeonholed into those methods of breaking your board, then like like you you know what to do to play around it. So like um, I don't know, and, and it's just broken going second, just absolutely busted. Just break breaks breaks every board, and then like it guarantees that you get a Mirror Jade sometimes if you hard draw the Albas like. And, and that they can't stop you, even if they Ash Brand Infusion, so, yeah. Played three Super Poly. Uh, this is a God card in this deck. Uh, but a lot of times, like, post-side, people will go for, like, you know, it, uh, like Fire King, they're going to go for, like, the Apo, Zelantis, or Vada board to play around it. Or they'll, or, like, Pure Snake Eye, they'll use, like, Formula plus, like, Borla Savage after it's using a gate to go into Barrens to, like, play around, you know, the, the Warrior plus Dragon uh, Super Poly target. So, like... Uh, you can you, you set it out going second or like post game one a lot of the times because like they, they know play around it um, But against pure like I, I like keeping it in because uh, a lot of times it like It just prevents them from going like pr like they go princess revive something and then you fuse super poly fuse them both way And then you're chilling because they can't decay you which means you win um, Three talents. Yeah, this card is broken uh, If you like talent steal their apo then like brand fusion they ash you chain apo like yeah game's over so uh, this card was really, really solid. Uh, same three copies of Thrust. Uh, this card's like the best board rigger. You get to add broken stuff like Patchwork to your hand, or Brand Infusion, or Deployment. Like, you have so many power spells in this deck to, to add with this going second. So, it's like a god. And, like, uh, Brand is like one of the few decks that can still use board breakers instead of hand traps, even though it's a hand trap format. Uh, they just like synergize better with the engine of the deck. So, like, this card was just busted. Um,. Fusion duplication. Uh, I want to play through this card. Like, the the bad thing about it is like when, like in, in other formats, like when you would draw it going second. But like, every single time I drew this going second, I, I won the game. Like, like, and when you resolve it, you win the game. So like, if if it's not bad going second, if you always want to see it, then like, then it's card you play it three, right? So I definitely gonna play through this in the future. Like, cause cause you just like break their board and then like. Or, or like at least somewhat equalize at the minimum and then like you just set this and flip it and then this achieves a puppet lock on their turn like no matter what like this plus any discard um if you have access to a light spellcaster like ecclesia or cartesia quem maximus like like it just guarantees that you puppet lock them so you know like their follow-up doesn't matter and, and that's what you got to do like because it's not hard to break a fireboard or like it's doable um you just can like rarely ever OTK them if you're not also playing fire, and like you need a way to invalidate their follow up because their follow up is really strong. So like fusion dupe into puppet lock is one of the best ways to do that. Then I played the deer, um, and also like the one Maximus. Uh, this card is broken. Same thing with like fusion dupe. It's actually not bad going second because it helps you achieve a puppet lock for their follow up turn. Um, so like it did a lot. Um, yeah, this card's really solid. Also, like, shifter decks isn't, aren't real. Like, all the shifter decks just, just suck because they don't draw shifter two-thirds of the time, which means, like, the deck is unplayable two-thirds of the time. Um, 
Yeah, and then a Maximus was broken because uh, you can summon this off, off of Grand Grinnell if you get Nib. So, like, everybody's main decking three Nib. I got Nib so many times, made Maximus, and then it was like, okay, well, like, you just turn their... You just turn your opponent's nib into an extender, uh, which is, like, just so silly. Like, there, there's times I got, like, hand trapped four times. Like, they had, like, nib, veiler, imprim, imprim, and it's like, you know, you, you just play through everything uh, going first, at least. Uh, for the uh, extra, I played standard. Just uh, all eight. Albas fusions. Um, you don't really have room for the other ones, but I would like to play Sprint. Um, but you know, not enough room. But these these are all the ones you actually need. Sanctifier probably bannable. Uh, I don't know, but uh, yeah. And then Mirror Jade is the goat. Like like you really, like you could potentially consider cutting out one, but like the second one comes up sometimes. So uh, yeah, I played three super poly targets. Uh, these are the best ones. They're the most generic ones, and Garur is good because you get a draw off of um, uh, Nadir Servant, so and you get a banish off Maximus. So it's like, even though you don't actually like make it that often, well, off a of Super Poly. Um, then I played Guardian Chimera. Shout out to my girlfriend for this one. Uh, this card's God card. Like can't target it. Ran open protects them from being destroyed. Like they j they just can't beat this card, and it just gives you so much advantage. So yeah, um, one Cortez, one Masquerade, and then one Grand Gnoll. Um yeah, Quartus has is really really good because it just blanks Apo. Like they just activate Apo, you chain this, it turns into zero attacks, it doesn't get negate. Uh Masquerade, like sometimes you just leave them on like two thousand life points and you're not able to puppet lock them, but like you can like make a masquerade and like that kind of checkmates them. So yeah, I, I did that a couple times. It was, it was pretty solid. Like you, you don't actually like don't need it. you don't go into time very often with the stick, you just puppet lock them and the game's over. So uh that that doesn't come up that often. Um and then Grand all, you know, broken. I would love to play two, but you just don't have the space. Um, then for side deck cards, I played three Phantasmae. This is the only hand trap I sided. Uh, it's broken, just broken. Um, like, you just, like, you just get to choose your hand going second. Like, against every fire deck, you draw three cards, put back two. So, like, after I resolved this, my hand was always, like, Brand Infusion, Talent, Super Poly Patchwork, Deployment, like, just, just I, I don't know. Like, if, if this card resolves, you just usually can't lose going second. Like, you can't lose when you get to choose your hand. Um, then uh, I played three Dark Ruler no more, and uh, alongside that, I, I also played the three Droplets. This is for uh, Pure Snake Eye because they set up negates. Um, which, like this deck, Brandon has a pretty good matchup in the Fire King, but Pure Snake Eye is a little bit tougher because you know they Baron. Uh, Savage, so like you just side these in for that matchup, so they're pretty good. They're also good against like road decks. Like, Dark Ruler is like not not that Voices is like a threat for Branded because I mean, you have a lot of tools for, for Voiceless, but like you know, if, if they go like Jowgen plus the Negate, like that's really really annoying. So, like, Dark Ruler helps a lot. Um, so yeah, that that was pretty solid, and then and then Droplets is pretty solid into like just just like snake eye just dodging stuff um it's also okay into rescue ace like rescue ace is like definitely like the worst out of every deck that can use bonfire but like yeah i don't know uh this card's still pretty decent in in those situations because set four is still pretty scary um then i played three cosmic uh you, you have to side this thing going second just in case they're playing anti-spell um even though most people are moving off of it but like into Fire King, this was like really, really broken. It was like, you know, you just trade for half their at their interruption. Set in going first a lot too. Um, yeah, just really, really good. And uh, this deck loses the back row more than more than monsters. So like, yeah, that was good. And then for one of those, I played one change of heart, one duster, one Daru Uh Yeah, these are just your you're just, these are just your thrust targets. You, you you definitely need this one. The other two are cuttable, but like they're just kind of cool sometimes. Um, the Daruma was good for, like, I mean, I didn't really use it during the tournament. It was, like, just really, really good during testing, because, like, if you survive, then, like, then, then you win, right? Like, even if you get hand-trapped, you, you survive, like, but with this card, then, then, then you're just fine. So, um, I, I think I'm going to continue playing it. Um, but, yeah, that is the, uh, profile. Um, appreciate you guys uh, tuning in and uh, hope to see you guys next time.